Hi there, Mark Manning from Auction Life, continuing our series on understanding the prophetic. Today I want to talk into the anatomy of a prophetic word. I really just want to clarify what a prophetic word is and to help assist in growing uh, in the prophetic for those who want to grow in the prophetic, uh, who want to understand what a prophecy should have and what's a safe ground for it to be on. So let me just talk briefly into that. If we look at 1 Corinthians 14.3, it says this, it says, But he who prophesies speaks edification and exhortation and comfort to men. So the gift of prophecy has a threefold purpose. It's edification, it's exhortation, and it's comfort. The edification means to build up. It means to fortify, to strengthen the structure, and to, to actually raise an edifice in a sense. It means really to build and to build well and build strong. So that's what a prophetic word should have in it. It should have edification in it. Exhortation, it means to call near, to urge strongly, and it's sometimes really to call somebody with, uh, with such an urgency to that which God has placed in their life, or to call them into a place which is closer to God from when they might be being distant to God. But it's, it's a very, very strong word. And then you have the word comfort, and it means to cheer up and to encourage. And to me, it's a, it's, it always talks about imparting the sense of the love of the Father to the hearer, uh, and not condemnation, but uh, love. And that's what we should always have, that comfort and the love. Um, yeah. And then the gift of prophecy also has elements of foretelling and foretelling. Let me tell you what that is, because so many people think it's the same thing, but it's not. To foretell means to speak to the future, to, to, to tell beforehand future events uh, that are to happen under the direction of the Holy Spirit. And it can even be uh, the future call on your life that God has or the future that he's planning for you, that he wants you to walk into. And then forthtelling. Forthtelling applies to present circumstances. Forthtelling is telling forth a message from God. It can be a call to repentance. It can be a word of encouragement. Uh, it can be a word of exhortation to a person, to people, or to a church. But if I look properly at the anatomy of a prophetic word, then these elements should always be there. Not all of them, but most of them, the majority of them should be there. And the one thing that you should always find uh, rooted in a prophetic word is love. It's no wonder that um, 1 Corinthians 12, which talks to the gifts of the Holy Spirit, uh, has in between it uh, and 1 Corinthians 14, which talks to the administration of the prophetic. You have the chapter of 1.13, that speaks to love and that we should never do anything unless it's from a position of love. So you will always find the element of love and not criticism or condemnation inside of a prophetic word or, or a word that is given uh, as, as from the, the gift of prophecy. The second thing you should always find is that there's identity, who God says you are. The thirdly, I call it the assets what you carry, what's on your tool belt, what are the gifts and the callings and the abilities that God has put in your life. Uh, then you have elements of foretelling, insights into your future. Foretelling, it talks to the current situation you find yourself into uh, and also talks to strategies to get you out of your current situation or how to enhance your current situation that you're in. And then comfort, and I call this the verbal, uh, the verbal hug the affirmation of God, where you feel the affirmation of God wrap himself around you and you feel loved, comforted uh, and affirmed by God. And then very often you will have scripture as well um, in a prophetic word. Scripture that contains promises, hope and even strategies that are anchored in the word. And so those are the elements that I find that you should find in prophetic words that you receive under the gift of prophecy. And I hope this clarifies for you what you can expect when you get used by God, uh, by the Holy Spirit, to bring prophetic words. That these elements are normally, most of them and the majority of them, are inside of the prophetic words that you give. So bless you guys. Hope you enjoyed this. As I said, God bless. Amen.